most loved drinks coffee of course and one and about one of the biggest technical and commercial organizations for coffee processing and packaging the ima coffee hub as a cluster of expert companies the ima coffee hub represents the one-stop solution provider for large and small coffee producers worldwide now let me introduce my studio guest it's mr nicola panzani he's the sales director at ima coffee good morning nicola Good to have you here. Good morning, Pietro. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. It's a pleasure to be at this virtual event, uh, uh, which I believe shows once again IMA ability to quickly adapt and anticipate the world evolution. I would like to start with a general description of uh, what IMA Coffee overall is able to provide to the coffee customers. Because uh, as you introduced, we are the only company in the world able to supply complete processing and packaging plans to the coffee industry. I would like to highlight the main process steps we can offer to our customers. The first one, as you see in the slide below, is related to green coffee intake, handling, storage, and cleaning. We have a wide range of solutions in this sector for our customers, and uh, uh, we can guarantee with our engineering team space optimization superior coffee cleaning, and gentle coffee handling. After this step, there is roasting. Roasting is uh, the core of any roasting company because it's the process where it's actually produced the products. With our brand Ima Coffee Petroncini, we, are, we have 100 years of experience in this sector and we have the widest range of roasters, of drum roasters available on the market. All our roasters have the, in their soul, I would like to say, uh, main, three main pillars, which are the key for our, our products. The first one is energy saving. The second one is uh, roasting control. And the third one is repeatability of roasting, which are very important for our customers. After roasting, and the further step when we follow the typical process uh, of uh, a roasting company, we have roasted beans handling and storaging, grinding and degassing. Also here I don't want to enter too much in details because there is plenty to say, but uh, we can cope with any requirement of our customers and uh, with both internal solutions and with the strategic partners, we can define what's the best solution for your needs. After processing, we enter into the packaging world because uh, we have the primary packaging where uh, we have uh, a deep expertise in capsule and pods filling, where we have a very wide range of machines. It's not just about machines, but we have a deep know-how also about materials, and in particular with uh, an eye of uh, about uh, environmental sustainability of the material, which is a major topic we're gonna discuss later. And uh, that's not all, because we have also vertical foam film and seal machines for roasted beans and ground uh, coffee and stick packs machines. Then we arrive at the last step of uh, uh, a company, of a production company, which is uh, secondary packaging and end of line. Here, again, we have uh, uh, many solutions for our customer related to cartoning, to case packers, palletizers, in order to complete our uh, strategy of being a turnkey supplier for all the companies and for both processing and packaging. That's all related to our range of products because I know you're going to hear many things during this uh, virtual event. But I would like to introduce a new important aspect. As you anticipated with the Coffee Hub, we are coming from a network of five companies which were far related to this business. Here at uh, Ima Sense in Future Days, we are launching a new structure based on uh, two main brands. One is Ima Coffee Petroncini which is our brand, which has always been related to processing equipment. So all the points I described before as processing. The other brand is Ima Coffee Packaging, which 
as a group the fur brands which were formerly related to packaging and uh, and now we can offer all our packaging solution within this brand and this uh, structure. Those two brands are still below the, what I like to say, the umbrella of Ima Coffee, where we have an integrated sales network and a global sales network that can offer solution to our customer for any type of product for both processing and packaging. So for any inquiry you have for your coffee factory, you can refer to our sales network and you will find a competent counterpart to shape the factory of your future. All right. Um, what happened to the different coffee packaging companies like uh, Mapster, Sprefico, Gima, and Tecmar? As I anticipated, we have uh, put together the competencies and the resources of those companies which are still inside Ima, but now we have reorganized, not just from a marketing point of view, but also from an organizational one, all this company in one team, in order to be able to be to present ourselves in a simpler way to our customers and to be able to provide a full range of packaging products to our customers from the smallest up to the top ones, always with IMA standards in terms of quality and reliability. All right, I think that we can already see the effect of, um, of all of this, of this new approach, uh, but can you introduce us what we are going to see in the future of IMA Coffee? Of course, uh, in this uh, exhi virtual exhibition, we are going to show a big number of machines because you can understand we have a, a very wide range of uh, process steps we can cover. So the first one I would like to introduce is Unica, our new capsule filling machine with a speed up to 600 capsules per minute, which is uh, in this uh, case is gonna run uh, with an espresso compatible aluminum capsule but obviously it can work with any material and any type of capsule. What is important of this machine is that uh, in concrete, you're gonna see what I describe as a new strategy of Ima Coffee packaging. Because in this machine, we put together all the best practices in our brands and you will see that they are actually implemented in this machine. So it's in concrete what we described as a strategy. After this machine, as a turnkey supplier, you are obviously going to see the rest of the line, which consists in a cartoning machine, FTB 5077, and the case packers MMP 400, which all together with Unica form a full packaging line for capsules. The cartoning machine will run with a 10, alumin, a 10 capsule nested in aluminum, which in our view, is the best format for this type of capsule because it can preserve the quality of the capsule and optimize the space occupation on both the shelves and the transportation. You can understand that for the more we go to our material uh, with more complexity, the more it is important to refer to a player, to a supplier like Ima, where you will find competent uh, counterparts that will guide you to decide what's the really the best solution to place for on in your factory and then in the market. After this uh, packaging line, you're gonna see also related to processing, our biggest drum roaster, which is the biggest drum roaster in the market, which is the TMR 720. In this presentation, you will see in reality what I described as our key pillars for related to roasting. So our solution to reduce the energy consumption our solution related to guarantee a, a superior roasting control and the ability to also to perform uh, unconventional roasting profiles. But that's not all related to processing because there will be also an interesting presentation related to artificial intelligence applied to roasting. But we will discuss a little bit later about that. And finally, you are gonna see also a vertical foam fill and seal machine for ground, uh, for, uh, not for ground, but for roasted coffee beans, and uh, with uh, a multi head waiter from uh, Ima Ilapak, which is another way to show how we are working to leverage the competencies we have within our group to provide superior solutions to our customers. Uh, in your introduction, you mentioned more than once sustainability. How important is sustainability inside Ima Coffee? Sustainability is a key point for IMA overall, and uh, in fact, we have a, a program related to that, which is IMA Zero, but uh, that's, and therefore is 
fundamental for Ima Coffee as well. We have a certain number of programs related to sustainability, but I would like to focus on two main ones. The first one is uh, the reduction of the energy consumption, as I mentioned before, especially in processing, where they, they are the most relevant, but in all the production of factory production. And this is meant to reduce the consumption of the production uh, plant. The other side is the ability to run material which are more environmental, uh, which are more environmental friendly and more sustainable. And we are working constantly with uh, our partners and suppliers of uh, materials to be able to run those materials on our machines. And I, I would like to anticipate what we are going to see in a few minutes, which is exactly a discussion, a round table among some of the biggest key producers of capsules in the market where they will debate on which is the best material for uh, sustainable capsules. Oh, we're looking forward to it. Um, EMA Digital is another major focus of the EMA Group. What is EMA Coffee doing in terms of digitalization? Digitalization and Industry 4.0 concept are really important ones and of course uh, as EMA Coffee we are working on those. Again, many activities, but I cannot uh, describe them all in, uh, in a short presentation. But again, the two most important ones are one related, as I anticipated, to artificial intelligence, to roasting. There will be a dedicated presentation where we will show what we are going to do and what we are doing, which is basically guarantee the possibility of the machine to self-learn through the roasting cycles in order to be able to adapt and to guarantee superior performances and reliability of the roasting. The other one is also really relevant, which is uh, the connectivity of machines. And uh, with connectivity, I mean the capability to connect all our machines to what is EMA DNA map, which is a monitoring system to monitor in real time the performance of the machines. And uh, this can be done also on a web app, uh, on application on the mobile phone. And it's not just about monitoring, but it analyzes the failure patterns of the machines and can give guidelines to our customers on where to intervene to improve the efficiency. And in conclusion, after a certain amount of data, we are able to achieve also predictive maintenance schemes to improve further the efficiency of our production lines. Okay. Thank you very much, Nicola Panzani, for Thank being you. with us this morning. Dear viewers, we end this session with a nice video showing all the solutions that Ima Coffee can provide. The next session will start then a couple of minutes later. See you then. Thank you.